Now let's understand a property which doesn't have a name actually but which is very fundamental in solving problems related to similarity. So let us say that we have a triangle ABC in which we have a line drawn from the vertex A on the base BC which divides it into two parts. Let's say the lengths of these two parts are M and N units. So BD is equal to M units while DC is equal to N units. Now let's draw a perpendicular from the vertex A on the base BC. So this is the perpendicular or the height which is drawn on BD and in fact you can say that this height is also the height for the triangle ADC. If we consider this triangle ADC then AE would be the height of this triangle. See height or the altitude is nothing but the shortest distance between the vertex and the base. So what we can say is for the triangle ADC as well AE would be the height and for triangle ABD AE would be the height and in fact we can also say that if we consider the triangle ABC then AE would again be the height of this triangle. So area of triangle ABD if we consider the triangle ABD then the area of this triangle would be half of base into height which is half of M into H. Similarly area of triangle ADC would be equal to half of N into H half of base into the height. Now if we take the ratio of both these areas then we see that half and H gets cancelled out and what we get is area of triangle ABD to the area of triangle ADC area of this triangle is to this triangle is M by N or we can say that both these areas are divided in the same ratio as the ratio in which their bases are divided. So we see that BC is divided in the ratio of M is to N. So we can say that the areas of these two triangles would also be divided in the ratio of M is to N. Let's take an example. Let us say that we have a triangle ABC in which BD is equal to 4 units, CD is equal to 10 units and let us say that the area of triangle ABD is equal to 8 units. We have to find out area of triangle ABC. Now BD and CD are 4 and 10. So ratio of BD is to CD is 2 is to 5. Thus BD and DC are in the ratio of 2 is to 5. So if the base is in the ratio of 2 is to 5, then areas should also be in the ratio of 2 is to 5. So area of triangle ABD is to area of triangle ADC must be in the ratio of 2 is to 5. Thus we get the area of triangle ADC as equal to 20 or area of triangle ABC this entire triangle would be equal to 8 plus 20 which is 28 units. So I hope this property is clear to you. So the areas of two triangles are divided in the same ratio in which bases are divided given that their heights are same. Let's solve one more example. It is given that in the given figure DE is parallel to BC also DE is equal to 1 fourth of BC. If the area of triangle ADE is given to be 20 units, we have to calculate the area of first part as triangle ABC, second triangle DEB this triangle and triangle DEF this small triangle. So let's try to solve this problem. This is the given figure in which DE is parallel to BC. Also area of triangle ADE is equal to 20 units. Now in the first part we have to find the area of triangle ABC. Also given that DE is 1 fourth of BC. So DE is to BC would be equal to 1 is to 4. Thus these two sides are in the ratio of 1 is to 4. Now as DE is parallel to BC we can say that triangle ADE would be similar to triangle ABC. These two lines are parallel to each other. And if parallel lines are drawn then the triangles are similar to each other. We have already seen that. So these two triangles ADE and ABC are similar to each other and their sides are in the ratio of 1 is to 4. Areas would be in the ratio of 1 is to 16. Simply square of this ratio. So we can say that area of triangle ABC would be 16 times the area of triangle ADE. So simply the area of triangle ABC would be 16 into 20. 20 is the area of triangle ADE which comes out to be equal to 320 units. 
so the area of this entire triangle ABC is equal to 320 units and so the first part is completed now let's solve the second part the second part asks us to find the area of this particular triangle BDE now we know that DE and BC are in the ratio of 1 is to 4 this has been already given to us now also we have seen in the first part that triangle ADE is similar to triangle ABC this triangle and this triangle are similar to each other now if the triangles are similar to each other then all the sides would be in the same ratio same ratio as 1 is to 4 so we can say that AD is to AB this is to this should also be in the ratio of 1 is to 4 that is this and this should be in the ratio of 1 is to 4 now if AD is one part and AB is four parts we can say that BD would be equal to three parts thus AD is to BD would be in the ratio of 1 is to 3 and now if we consider the triangle ABE this triangle DE is a line which divides AB in the ratio of 1 is to 3 so if the base is divided in the ratio of 1 is to 3 then the areas must also be in the ratio of 1 is to 3 thus area of triangle BDE this area should be 3 times the area of this triangle so it comes out to be equal to 60 units and so area of triangle BDE is equal to 60 units now let's look at the third part third part is again we have to find the area of triangle DFE now ratio of these two sides is 1 is to 4 given to us in the problem now if we consider the triangle DEF this particular triangle and triangle BFC we see that DE is parallel to BC so this angle should be equal to this angle similarly this angle should be equal to this angle alternate interior angles and so I can say that triangle DFE and BFC are similar to each other and so if these two triangles are similar to each other then all the corresponding sides must be in the ratio of 1 is to 4 so FE and BF are in the ratio of 1 is to 4 also DF and FC must be in the ratio of 1 is to 4 now in the second part we had calculated the area of triangle BDE and that came out to be 60 units now again we can see that in this triangle DF is a line that divides BE in the ratio of 4 is to 1 so what we have to do is we have to divide this area of 60 units in the ratio of 4 is to 1 now as area of triangle BDE was equal to 60 units area of triangle BDF would be equal to 4 fifth of 60 units see again I am saying the area of this triangle BDE is equal to 60 units and the base is divided in the ratio of 4 is to 1 so this area must be equal to 4 fifth of 60 which is equal to 48 units and similarly area of DFE must be 1 fifth of 60 so area of triangle BDF would be equal to would be equal to 1 fifth of 60 which comes out to be equal to 12 units so we can say that the area of triangle DFE comes out to be equal to 12 units and thus we have solved the entire problem let's solve one more example as shown in the figure FE is parallel to BC and given that length of BC is equal to twice of DE and in fact the length of TE is equal to twice of FD what is the ratio of area of triangle FDG to the area of triangle ADE so in this particular problem we have been given that these two lines are parallel to each other and the length of BC is twice of DE and in fact the length of DE is twice the length of FD we have to calculate the ratio of area of this triangle to this triangle so now given that FE is parallel to BC and BC is equal to twice of DE and DE is equal to twice of FD so if we say that FD is equal to X units so DE would be equal to 2X units and so BC would be equal to 4X units so this is X this is 2X and this is 4X let's assume that now 
if you consider the triangle FDG and triangle BGC then FD is parallel to BC which means that both these triangles must be similar to each other and if we look at the ratio of these two sides FD and BC then you can see that both these sides are in the ratio of 1 is to 4 so we can say that all the sides must be in the ratio of 1 is to 4 thus FG and GC must also be in the ratio of 1 is to 4 as if the two triangles are similar to each other then all the corresponding sides are in the same ratio so this side and this side are in the ratio of 1 is to 4 now let us say that the area of this triangle is A units let's assume that and so we can say that as these two triangles have sides in the ratio of 1 is to 4 their areas must be in the ratio of square of this side that is 1 is to 16 and so the area of this triangle comes out to be equal to 16A. Now if we join G and E now look at the triangle FGE the line GD is dividing the base in the ratio of 1 is to 2 see FD and DE are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 so if the bases are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 then the areas of these two triangles must also be in the ratio of 1 is to 2 so this area comes out to be equal to twice of A if this is equal to A now again if we consider the triangle FEC then EG is a line that is dividing the base in the ratio of 1 is to 4 so if the ratio of base is 1 is to 4 areas of this triangle FGE and GEC must be in the ratio of 1 is to 4 so this is 3A and so this area would be equal to 4 times 3A which is equal to 12A units thus the area of this part is 2A units area of this triangle GEC is 12A and and the area of triangle BGC is equal to 16A units. Now we have to find out the area of triangle ADE. For that, first of all, area of trapezium DECB is equal to 2A plus 12A plus 16A, which is equal to 30A units. So the area of this trapezium is 30A units. Now, given that FE is parallel to BC, which further means that DE would be parallel to BC, now if we consider the triangle ADE and ABC then DE being parallel to BC implies that triangle ADE and triangle ABC must be similar to each other. Also if we look at the sides DE and BC then they are in the ratio of 1 is to 2. So sides are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 which means that areas must be in the ratio of 1 is to 4 square of the ratio of the sides. Now from this what we see is if the area of this part is 1 unit then the area of triangle ABC would be equal to 4 units which means that ratio of areas of triangle ADE and the trapezium is 1 is to 3. So area of triangle ADE is to area of triangle BCED would be equal to 1 is to 3. Now this part is 30A so this would be equal to 10A that is one third the area of this so this part or triangle ADE has an area of 10A units so we have calculated the area of triangle ADE and also we know the area of triangle FDG thus we can say that area of triangle FDG to the area of triangle ADE comes out to be equal to 1 is to 10 so these two triangles have the ratio of areas as 1 is to 10 I hope this problem on similarity is clear to you even though it is a difficult problem but you have to understand that whenever the lines are parallel then in some way or the other similarity is definitely applied. In this particular problem we had to apply similarity twice. Now let's look at the last example of our lecture. It is given that in the figure PQRS is a square and BC is equal to 10 units. If the area of triangle ABC, this entire triangle, is equal to 75 units, then what is the area of the square PQRS? So in this particular problem, we have been given ABC is a triangle in which PQSR is 
a square which is inscribed inside this triangle such that area of triangle ABC is equal to 75 units and the length of BC is 10 units. We have to calculate the area of the square PQRS. So let's see the solution. The length of BC is given to be 10 units. Also given that area of triangle ABC is equal to 75 units. Now what is the formula for area? We know that area is equal to half of base into height. So area is given to be 75 units. Let's say the height of this triangle is h units. So half of base is 10, h is the height. 75 equal to half of 10 into h which gives the value of h equal to 15 units. So what we can say the height of this triangle is equal to 15 units. Now if we consider the triangle APQ and triangle ABC then PQ is parallel to BC as PQRS is a square and opposite sides are parallel to each other and thus triangle APQ is similar to triangle ABC and thus triangle APQ is similar to triangle ABC. Thus this triangle and the bigger triangle are similar to each other. Now also in a square all the sides are equal to each other. So if SR is equal to X units then PQ would also be equal to X units. And this length would also be equal to X units which further means that this length would be equal to 15 minus X. As the entire height is equal to 15 units this distance is equal to X which means this distance would be equal to 15 minus X. Now as these two triangles are similar to each other then we can say that heights will be in the same ratio as the sides. When two triangles are similar then the heights, the medians, the perpendicular bisectors, the perimeters all are in the same ratio as their corresponding sides. So here we can say the heights would also be in the same ratio as the sides. If we are considering triangle APQ and ABC then sides are X and 10. So ratio of the sides would be X by 10 and the heights are 15 minus X and 15. So we can say that X by 10 would be equal to 15 minus X by 15. What we have done is we have equated ratio of sides to ratio of the heights. On solving the equation we get the value of X equal to be 6 units. So X which is the side of the square comes out to be equal to 6 units and thus area of PQRS would be equal to 6 square which is equal to 36 units as area of a square is given by the formula A square where A is the side length of the square. So with this we come to the end of our lecture. This was all about the topic similarity. Now to get a better hold of this concept what you need to do is you have to solve as many problems you can. This is Neeraj from the team Kitabi signing off. If you like the video do subscribe, like and share it. Thank you.